Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you, 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 and you. Today's video is inspired by a question that I get quite often. It is, coach, I do everything. Who should I hire first? So if your question is, who should be the first person or position you hire for in your home care agency, I would say the first person should be an administrative assistant. Um, you can call that person an administrative assistant, a care coordinator, a staffing coordinator, uh, assistant, you know, uh, recruiter. There's a whole clerical assistant, receptionist. There's a whole lot of different titles you can call this individual. However, the task is simple, guys. The task is simple. For those of you that are visiting me for the first time, my name is Michelle Williams, and many of you know me by Coach Michelle coming to you live from Atlanta. Yes. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you exactly who you should hire first. You can call the person whatever you want to call the person. This person is going to be your right hand. This person is going to help you out tremendously because many of you are right now in the same boat I was in a couple of years ago. And if you don't know it, you about to be in that boat. Roll, roll, roll your boat. You about to roll that boat. So listen. When I started my business, I was the owner. I was the administrator. I was the assistant administrator. I was the care coordinator, the service coordinator, the staffing, um, the scheduler, the housekeeping. You, you caregiver don't show up, I was there <laughs> as, a, as, as a caregiver. So when you start your business, you wear many hats. You know, what's that, what's that old show, um, In Living Color? I got 14 jobs, man. You will have 14 jobs, man. However, once you start generating some revenue in your business, or if you already have capital to, um, when you're starting your business to invest in hiring someone to help you, I would say the first person is going to be someone that's going to assist you with, um, your administrative duties, like clerical work. Um, I think that first person main responsibility should be recruiting, hiring caregivers. You should be getting caregivers before you even get your first client. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard me right. Many of you don't want to do that because you're thinking, oh, I don't have a client. Oh, that's not right. No. When McDonald's open, Chick-fil-A, Walmart, CVS, the, the local subway, the local cleaners, whatever business that you visit, guess what? They have employees in place before they open the door. Because why? They are manifesting, they are anticipating, anticipating that they will have customers. When you, when, when McDonald's open their door and you walk in, you can be customer number one, but guess what? There's going to be someone at the register. There's going to be somebody on fries. There's going to be somebody flipping burgers. There's going to be somebody in the, um, dining area. There's going to be a manager. There may be a crew leader. There's a lot of people that's involved with making sure your experience is good, making sure that they have enough talent, enough resources to service uh, one client, 50 clients, 100 clients. So they anticipate success, right? So as small business owners, when we're starting out and throughout our entrepreneurial journey, we must anticipate success. We must manifest. We must do the things that we need to do in order to generate revenue, in order to generate great ex customer client experiences, and also to create an atmosphere and a culture that people want to work with us and for us, right? So that's really, really important when you're starting out. So I would say the first person should be someone that's going to help you with recruiting. And then that way you can focus on your, um, you know, making sure you're compliant with your state. If you're in a regulated state, making sure that you are doing the things that generate clients, generate revenue. So more so you are working on the business and not as much in the business. Hire this person to assist you. This person is going to be your right hand. Make sure that that person is focused, I'm not going to say strictly, but mainly on getting in some good talent, some great caregivers, some great CNAs, and they're able to manage that whole onboarding process for you. The second person, I know the video is about who to hire first. However, let me just give you this. I think the second person should be a marketer. 
Get somebody that's going to help you market your services, that's going to help you build those strategic relationships in the community. And I really think that's the, the, the best way to start that strong foundation, because then that's going to free you up again to be working on more strategic growth strategies on how to diversify your streams of income, how to really reach the clients that you want to reach while you have somebody marketing your business, building those relationships with facilities and in the community, and you have someone that's focused on getting caregivers for your business. So quick, quick, simple question. However, it's pretty involved. So I want to encourage you guys because I have found that that's probably the Mm, I would say the hardest thing for people is because when, when new business owners start generating that revenue and they're experiencing money that they haven't experienced in the past, they try to hoard it. They try to hold on to it versus reinvesting that money into their business, into talent, meaning um, staff to help you. When you invest in hiring somebody, guys, don't think of it like, oh, I'm taking money away from my salary. I'm taking money away from, you know, the, the, the lifestyle that I can have. No, guys, you are investing that, which is going to help you grow your business. It's a mindset shift that we all must go through. No matter what stage you, stage you are in your business, it's a constant mind shift that must take place because you're constantly reinvesting in your business. You're investing in people. Guys, it's not taken away from you. It is actually helping you. It's helping you with a peace of mind. It's helping you with your personal growth. It's helping you um, become a leader. It's helping you increase your leadership skills. It's helping you diversify. It's helping you with so many things, but most importantly, it's helping you have that sanity, that peace of mind where you're not stressed when you're doing those 14 jobs a month, right? So that's what I strongly suggest is hire you an administrative person that is good at administrative tasks. That's a good point. Let me say that again. Hire someone that's good at it because if you hire someone that's not good at it, especially if you're not good at it or you don't have the experience, how are you going to train them? So now you, you're you even more overwhelmed, if you will, because now you're trying to train someone to do things that you're not trained to do. So you want to hire someone that has experience in whatever it is that you're bringing them on to do. Now, say you say, well, I found someone, she's really great, or it's a family member and they don't have the experience that I would want them to have, or you know that I'm saying they should have. Then guess what? You need to have funds to invest in training. Send that person to a training. You know, um, there's a whole bunch of different programs available. There's different type of you know online virtual training, but definitely set that person up for success and give that person some training if you are not able to train. Definitely set yourself up for success, which ultimately sets your business up for success. So I hope that helps you answer, you know, give you the answer to that question. Who should I hire first? And should I hire? Yes. Um, so hopefully that gives you what you need, guys. So this is Coach Michelle coming to you live from the ATL. You can check me out, learn more about my services on how my, my, my services can help you get up and running to start your home care business. You can visit me online at michelleleellis.com. Michelle with one L, michelleleellis.com. And definitely jump over to Facebook because I'm always dropping gems on I Am Coach Michelle. And um, let's see. Oh! Don't forget to click the bell and subscribe and like the video. And lastly, but not least, lastly, put your comment down below and let me know what you think about the video and what questions do you have that I could potentially answer for you on one of my next videos. Take care, God bless, and I will see you at the top, baby. <laughs>